Fethullah Gulen, a reclusive U.S.-based Islamic cleric who inspired a global social movement while facing accusations he masterminded a failed 2016 coup in his native Turkey, has died. Abdullah Bozgurt, the former editor of the Gulen Link Today's Zaman newspaper, who is now in exile in Sweden, said Monday that he spoke to Gulen's nephew, Kemal Gulen, who confirmed the death. Fethullah Gulen was in his 80s and had long been in ill health. The state-run Anadolu agency quoted Turkish Foreign Ministry Hakan Fidan as saying the death has been confirmed by Turkish intelligence sources. Gulen spent the last decades of his life in self-exile, living on a gated compound in Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains from where he continued to wield influence his millions of followers in Turkey and throughout the world. He espoused a philosophy that blended Sufism a mystical form of Islam with staunch advocacy of democracy, education, science and interfaith dialogue. Gulen began as an ally of Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan, but became a foe. He called Erdogan an authoritarian bent on accumulating power and crushing dissent. Erdogan cast Gulen as a terrorist, accusing him of orchestrating the attempted military coup on the night of July 15, 2016, when factions within the military used tanks, warplanes and helicopters to try to overthrow Erdogan's government. Heeding a call from the president, thousands took to the streets to oppose the takeover attempt. The coup plotters fired at crowds and bombed parliament and other government buildings. A total of 251 people were killed and around 2,200 others were wounded. Around 35 alleged coup plotters were also killed. Gulen adamantly denied involvement, and his supporters dismissed the charges as ridiculous and politically motivated. Turkey put Gulen on its most wanted list and demanded his extradition, but the United States showed little inclination to send him back, saying it needed more evidence. Gulen was never charged with a crime in the US, and he denounced terrorism. Western intelligence agencies suspect that main directorate of the Russian intelligence sent incendiary packages that caught fire before they were loaded onto planes in Leipzig and Birmingham cities in Germany and UK respectively. The incidents occurred in July. The packages containing incendiary substances somehow passed security inspections. German authorities warned this week that a plane could have been downed if the devices, which were both sent by air, had ignited in flight. German intelligence service chief Thomas Haldenwang told German MPs the package would have resulted in a crash if it had caught fire mid-flight. According to the intelligence services, the purpose of such actions is to intimidate Europeans and create chaos. The incidents with parcels came after MI5 boss Ken McCallum warned that Russia is intent on causing mayhem on UK streets. The security agency's director general said Britain should expect to see continued acts of aggression here at home from Russia, with its military intelligence agency, the GRU, on sustained missions, adding, we've seen arson, sabotage and more. Brandon Fried, executive director of the Air Forwarders Association, which represents the air freight industry in the US, described the incendiary bomb incidents as disconcerting given the suspicion of Russian state involvement. It looks like the goal is simply to disrupt the supply chain, create havoc and simply to scare people. They want people to lose confidence in the system, Fried said, adding that the industry had developed robust and evolving security procedures since September 11th attack.